this is what it, it has to be copy. Mm -hmm. Pop has this. Well, sometimes water has bubbles, but look. don't don't do that. Don't do that. This is copy. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Glad you like it, baby. What up? Hello, my gorgeous sunshines. So today, we are having... Okay, I'm not going to lie to you. I watched... Okay, here's what I said I was going to have. <clears throat> I said that I was going to have uh, mussels and something. Oh, some kind of steak thing and some lettuce, and I'm not going to have that at all today because I got the boys. Um, the boys, my grandsons came over, and they wanted burritos because I sat and watched, my dumb butt sat up here and watched, um, I'm going to get this one on butcher it, but I'm going to fix it when I butcher it now. I'm going to fix it right here. Meet Dave and Mon. I think that's her name. She's one of my subscribers. And <clears throat> she is on keto. She's doing the keto lifestyle. And while I have no intention of doing the keto lifestyle, I do, uh, I did like the idea of the bur burrito. She had a breakfast burrito this morning or yesterday morning. They had like bacon and egg and sour cream and some other stuff in it. So I tried to do a little bootleg because it was an afterthought. I was not really prepped to do a cooking video tonight, which I got to get back to doing some of those. But um, so anyway, I put together a dinner burrito and it is a steak burrito. Okay, I cheated. I got the shaved beef because I didn't feel like standing here and chopping up steak. So, and it turned out absolutely magnificent um so mine has jalapeno peppers not a lot and you guys see i don't have any on, on any makeup today because i don't feel like it i don't feel like it and i think that that's my prerogative as a middle-aged woman i don't want to put on makeup i'm not going to but there's that and i'm dehydrated and i was so thirsty that i would already started drinking my drink for dinner so I got a sparkling water here from Kroger. I got, it's a black cherry sparkling water. It's very good. But it's also the kind of sparkling water that has the, the heavy taste to it. Um, which means I'm probably gonna get a headache later on because I'm sure that there's aspartame in this. Contains no fruit juice. Yep. 
then how does how is the black cherry and let's see in my look with my old lady eyes is there aspartame in this one I don't know. There's a bunch of stuff that I can't pronounce, which probably means that I shouldn't be, it shouldn't be going into my body. But you know what? There's a lot of things that shouldn't have gone into this body. <laughs> that we, that could be interpreted on so many different levels. And I also should tell you guys that I'm not wearing my microphone because I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it's always such a production with that thing right now. So I'm trying to speak loud enough that you guys can hear me clearly. And I'm so sorry if the mouth sounds are not great on this video. But, um, you know, if that's as bad as life gets, it's okay. Uh, but anyway, I started to tell you guys, I should tell you too, that this burrito is holding on by the blood of the lamb. When I say it's holding on by the hem of his garment, because I don't really know how to roll burritos. And so it's just kind of like, I actually overstuffed it. And then um, I had to eat some of it out of it to be able to actually get it to close. So we're gonna, we're gonna say a prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for the food we're about to receive. In your name, amen. Uh, P.S. Lord, can you please hold this thing together until I get done with this mukbang. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so we're gonna, with the burrito, here we go. I got the fork, just in case this goes left and we gotta open it up and just do surgery that way, that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna try to, it's got a lot going on in this. good. It is good. <clears throat> I got my little avocado here. I got avocado in it too. Um, okay, so in mine, I've got steak and corn, brown rice, brown cilantro lime rice, salsa, sour cream, cheese, and jalapeno pepper. Yeah. You know what? I didn't do too bad. Oh. Hmm. Um, I tried this Carve Master. So Mission has a, the brand Mission of tortillas. It has a Carb Master tortilla. This is low carb, clearly. And um, I tried it and I can't tell the difference between it and a regular tortilla, so there you go. So see, I didn't do bad at all with the carbs. Now, I'm not keto. I'm not trying to be keto. But myself and a few other mukbangers have gotten together and formed a group. And we're trying to get healthier. And not necessarily for the new year, like... Just small changes. Not It's not a diet. It's a lifestyle. Making some adjustments. Now. This is the only thing I've had to eat today. So, oh, this ought to be interesting. 
and it's nine o'clock at night. <laughs> but I was telling the girls, I'm like, I gotta do something. I'm built like a pinball machine. And that ain't sexy. And I used to have an hourglass shape. Yeah, I guess we all did in our 20s. But <clears throat> I had a butt, I had hips. Honey, I'm so straight up and down now. And then I'm lumpy where you shouldn't be lumpy. Like, I was telling them, I look like I'm carrying $100 worth of quarters around my waist. But... Part of my problem isn't <clears throat> so much what I eat, because I cook a lot of my own food. I don't fry a lot of stuff. Um, I love vegetables and fruit, seafood. I don't move. Um, I have a treadmill that's in my basement. But I don't like walking into the basement to get on the treadmill. <clears throat> so there's that. There's also an exercise bike down there. You know it's bad when you don't even know what kind of exercise equipment you've purchased over the many years that you've been seeing you go lose weight. So I'm debating if I want to take y'all on this weight loss journey with me. I'm going to tell y'all, pro tip, don't ever get the Private selection black bean salsa is terrible. I'm very disappointed. Um, <clears throat> so, I need to lose 50 pounds. And every time I walk, okay, so I'm also addicted to watching hoarders. And I'm addicted to watching my 600 pound life. And I promise you, every time I see one of these people, they're six, 700 pounds, and they lose 120 pounds in one month, I'm like, you simple biscuit eater. Trying to stop cussing too. I'm like, you silly thing. We're gonna get this out of the way because you know we're just talking now. I'm done eating. This is annoying. There we go. That's more like it. So <clears throat> um but anyway, I'm a, I'm addicted to watching my 600 pound life. Excuse me. Excuse me again. And every time I watch one of the shows, I actually I actually DVR. Um, I watch one of the shows. I'm like, why? Why won't you just get up and move? Like that's that's all it would take. It's such a simple thing, and it's fifty freaking pounds.
pounds for you to be back in your glory again. In my glory. You know what? <clears throat> I'm going to say this. I'm super cute. Underneath this meat suit, I'm a bad bee. I am. I promise you I am. You, you might not be able to see her now. Because she's got an extra face growing down here right now. But if I ever get rid of this, this 50, honey, look out. Y'all gonna have to tell me to put on clothes all the time. At inappropriate places to be clothesless. Yeah. <sighs> yup. So. I'm just kidding. I'm not. I am a very conservative. Very conservative. So, anyway. Um, yeah, so shout out to, and I'm not going to call y'all out unless you want me to, but shout out to my Too Legit to Quit crew. Um, if anybody else is interested in doing this, because we're all muck, mukbangers, and... I'm trying to do, I'm going to try. I'm not going to always succeed. So this is not a contract for y'all to come back and say, well, you said you was going to do such and such. such. I'm, okay, I'm telling you right now, here's what's about to go down. 70%, we're shooting for a solid 70%. 70% 70 of my mukbangs now are going to be healthier. I'm still going to drink my beer. i tell you that now. Every now and again, I'm still going to drink my beer. And I'm going to try to drink more water. I know I'm not drinking enough water. That's another thing, too. Um, and it's going to be a lot of vegetables, and a lot of seafood, and the appropriate... And I know that, like, the popular thing is to gorge yourself on, you know, large portions of stuff. I can't really do a whole lot of large portions anyway. Um... You wouldn't think as big as I am. You'd think I'd be smashing. And actually, not so much. Because I've, I've, I've learned that if you stay in one space all day long, and don't move around a whole lot, you can maintain your girlish physique. Just saying. But um, anyway, but I'm going to try to start... Now, maybe I may even film like a little bit of the exercise in the morning. I'm going to get that treadmill out and get it going and maybe get on this raggedy bike. And <sighs> I hate bikes. I do. I hate bikes. I hate them. But we're going to do it because <clears throat> I got to get healthy by my, and not, this is not a New Year's resolution. This is actually by my next birthday. By my next birthday, I would like to, if, even if I can't be down 50, I'd like to be down 30. That would be great. Like 30 would put me here again. Okay, maybe with a little bit of a facelift. And I need a little bit of makeup to spruce me up. But I'm just saying. Anyway, me and the same 50 pounds have been doing the same dance for the last 15 years. And it's time that we part ways now. It is. Or at least try to. So we're going to see. We're going to see if me filming this holds me to some kind of a standard. Because I am I say I'm not a quitter. I'm not a quitter or anything else until it comes time for a cookie. Or like you could probably lure me into one of those pedophile vans with candy. I'm not going to lie to you. A big pack of Starburst. It could go down. Anyway. <clears throat> I'm done, and I got something stuck in my gum line that I need to get out. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold you guys any longer. I feel like I'm talking on the phone to you. So, if you haven't already, please subscribe, like, comment. Um, my nose is itching. Sorry, 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 sorry. And because this is real life, um, subscribe, comment. You talk to me, I talk back. And if you subscribe to me and you're a mukbanger too, I will also go and check out your channel and return the love. Because I love seeing what everybody else is doing. I love seeing, you know, 
recipes and what you guys are eating, and especially if it's something that I haven't had before. Because like the end of this week, I want to do a raw oyster milk bag. I do. I want to, um, I got some raw oysters and I said I was going to wrap this up. Give me, just give me a minute. I got some raw oysters from Jungle Gems last weekend and then I froze them because I am an idiot and I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I read then that you cannot defrost them and then eat them raw. You have to, like, they have to be a certain something, something, something. So I'm going to fry those. I'm going to um, deep fry those. I don't know what else to do with them. And then, but I'm actually going to get another batch from Papa Do's restaurant. And I'm going to do a mukbang with raw oysters at some point. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a most magical Monday. And I love you so much. And thank you for joining me for dinner tonight. And I will see you guys tomorrow. So until we meet again, may you be blessed with health and wealth and peace out.